Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and today I have a Timu haul for you. And I have rained on hair. I had to run a quick errand after work and it was pouring out. All right, but I have a Timu haul for you. Like always, this is a video that they did send me the items. I selected them and the opinions are of my own. And Timu is an online store, if you're not aware, it's sort of like an Amazon, but a little different. Um, they do offer free shipping and they offer free returns. Things came relatively quickly and there is a 30% coupon for your first order in the description box below. So let's get into it. I got some crafty bits. Uh, the first thing I picked up were these bottles. They're they're like a glue bottle. I mean, I guess they are a glue bottle, but they could be for paint or anything like that. So what you get is the glue bottle, or I'm using them for glue, and then this little cap that goes on it, and it's a needle. I mean, it's not really a needle, but it's a metal tip. And it's for more precision if you're using the glue for adhesive or painting or whatever. And it's got a good squeeze to it. Now, what I would say is I need to find a pin needle to put in. There's no cap for it, which I think is not ideal, but that's okay. I can get a um, stainless steel, so you want one that won't rust. Need a straight pin, and I can put it down in there. But I did get... A set of these um, because sometimes when I'm doing my cross stitch finishing I need a very precise line of glue so I got that um, ugh, I got something kind of big this is it's sort of like a scissor is how I'm gonna uh, uh, equate it so but it's much more narrow so you get two plates and you run the um, the metal through it, so you crank it, and it goes through, and it, it's a die cutter. It cuts your paper for you. Um, there is suction on the bottom, and there's some weight to it. The only thing is it's not very wide, so you're going to be limited on what, what dies you can use, but you just, I think you have to kind of push it through a little bit, and you get it to go through. So I thought that would be super fun. And Sarah loves to do paper crafting. So I thought I could share that with her. And she would like it. It does come in a box. I took it out so that I could show you. Um, oh, geez. It also comes with um, some directions. Which is always ideal. So you get that. And you'll see I got some... Oh, excuse me, my nose itches, some metal dies. I got this, it's supposed to be a loom. So you would wrap yarn or something around it and then you could do some weaving, but it's it's very warped. And I think it came with a plastic needle. So I'm not sure, I mean, it's it's really warped, but it's a loom to do with that so we'll we'll leave that I picked up a couple of these notebooks and I actually got these for prizes for my team at work um, but this is 3d like I there's texture to it and then um, the pages are colored inside I don't want to open it they, well I guess I can open it it's fine they don't care um, it feels like, you know, fake leather. It's definitely not real leather. But I like that it has the dimensions on the front and the back. And like I said, they are definitely 3D. And then when you open it up, oh, it's gold. It's like distress. So you have line. It is a journal, so you can date it. And then, you know, you get through here. So if you want to use it as a journal... And there is a page marker right here. So I like that and I thought that's great. And even if you just want to use it for like notes or lists or something, it's very nice. Very nice quality to it. 
So I grabbed one of those and then I got a second one. This one came with a pen, which I think is pretty cool. Um, same concept with this one. It's, this is uh, just, it's almost identical, I'm assuming, on the inside. So the only difference is the cover and this one came with a pen. But there is the skull on the front and the detail on the back and then the same. Yeah, so it's just the cover that's different, but it's just a notebook. And so I grabbed these. Here, let's do our thumbnail early. I better do it down here. I got to put Timu. So I grabbed these as prizes for my team. And then that one does come with a little black pen. So I will have that as well. Um, I did get a different uh, t-shirt. I like this one a lot. It has the little pocket, a v-neck. It's not completely see-through. Looks like it has some structure and it's a little longer, which I like. This is a 3X. I got everything in a 3X and I am an 18, 16, 18, 20-ish and it does fit me. So I got that, which I think will be super fun for the summertime to wear. Cause you know, I'm all about the summer. Um, I grabbed this container for storage, for craft storage specifically. Um, so your lid comes off like that. Oh, here's the, here's the needle that came with the loom. And then you have a top section here that you can lift out and then storage on the inside. So I really liked, I liked this a lot and I liked that I could, you know, pull this out and store things. I'm always looking for storage for my crafty bits because I have a lot. Um, okay, then I, so I have stuff in here. I grabbed this white pencil box, which I think is great, except for it doesn't stay shut. The, it has a snap, but it doesn't work. Like it doesn't line up properly. So I guess I could put a rubber band around it or something. Um, but I liked that it had the dividers in here for a pencil box or crafting tools. But I don't like that it, it doesn't um, stay shut. So there's that. Everything's a hit or miss. Oh, I got two sets in here so I grabbed this set of pottery tools and I actually took them to my pottery class the other night the other set and they work great this one is for Sarah um, but this is the tool we need to make holes in things this tool here we use if we're gonna connect and then just some little to make small holes and things of that nature so this is fantastic I used it a lot the other night and then I got this set, and I, I don't know if these are all the same size. They're, they're not. They're all different. They're, you use these tools to, um, when you're cleaning up your pottery and you're um, getting everything together, which is what I was hoping I would use that white thing for. So what you do is when you're, um, you've done it, you've thrown your potter, you let it sit and it gets to a leather stage and you use this to clean it up all your edges and trim it, trimming, trimming. So these are all just different size trimming tools. So I figure Sarah and I will share all of these and I have her own set of these. And these, like I said, worked really good. Um, it's just nice to have all different sizes depending on how, you, what you're going to do. And my hope was to be able to store some things in here now what i did purchase was from the dollar tree i got a um pencil box which works perfect so it's fine i'll give that to sarah and these i'll just throw in mine and they're nice to make you know get your different angles and stuff when you're trimming your pottery so that was super fun um i got a set of i don't know what they call these rivets i suppose 
they're, I think it's for leather working or something. Originally what I thought they were, uh, were snaps, but they are not. So you have your hand tool here that you can like bang them together. And then you have all of these pieces and it connects things together like a brad or something. And then if I, it is for leather working because this would make the hole in the leather and then this would go and it's how you can connect two pieces of leather together, like, or denim or anything like that. It's a rip, it's like a rivet for, um, crafting. So these are going to come in handy and then you use this tool to bang them together. So I'll keep these because I have, um, the plastic snaps that I got from Amazon and a couple other things in it's all working out well. The Lin, I think it's the Linda snaps and you put them on. I use them all the time in my cross stitch bags that I sew. So there's that. And speaking of cross stitch, I grabbed some of this trim just because I thought it was fun. Um, and I love the collect trim. So it is a braid. So this is silver. But look how detailed it is here. It's so pretty and it's really soft, which is nice. And it's a good detail. And then this one is the same thing, but it's black and silver. But I use these like to edge different crafts. So I like to have, and actually this bucket may become my trim bucket and put all these little trims down in there. So I grabbed those and then I got these, which are, um, they're paper. I think they're for live, like for books. So this one says her husband's book, Hazel Mills Prescott, and they're just all different paper. So you'd have to, they're like a paper sticker, I suppose. So they will separate and you can glue them down which is another reason I like the glue, but it says we have collected the patterns of some seals in the past and integrated them into stickers to bring you more convenient use methods for those who like our brands. So it says they're stickers. Let's take one apart and see. Maybe it is a sticker and you don't have to glue it. It's definitely paper. Like that's for sure. Oh, it is a sticker. Okay, great. And you can just use it for like junk journaling or put them in your, oh, look at it. It's neat. Put it in your library book and your own personal library or whatever. So they're almost like a vellum. I'm wondering if it's paper, paper. It is paper, paper, but that's fine. How fun. So I'm excited for these. Um, and I'm going to share them obviously with Sarah and they come in different prints. So you get a few pages of each. Like this is Ex Libris. Oh, they're like in Latin. Oh, I didn't show you, I was looking at them. So they're, they're different sets and you get a couple pages of each set. Eek Bin Fry. And then there's this set. So how fun, I think these are really fun, uh, fun and neat too for like any kind of paper crafting. Sarah loves to do um, scrapbooking. So she may enjoy something of that nature. I will ask her. Um, and for both of us to share, I received, and I think you get 500 stickers. And it just says handmade with love. Yeah, handmade with love. And so when you're giving a gift, and I make a lot of handmade gifts, I thought this was perfect. So I can just put the little sticker out there. And everybody will know. These are the metal dies that I got for this machine. So they are small enough, but you can just cut leaves and feathers. I think these are, yeah, these are all leaves, different types of leaves and they separate. So I'll open one. The other one is Christmas ornaments, but you take them off. You have to separate them, right? separate one the first time so now I could cut a leaf so you put it in here with some uh, cardstock scrapbook paper and you run it through the machine and the pressure cuts it out and you get a die 
So we have all these different leaves. Look at these fall leaves. And then this one is Christmas bulbs, which I thought would be great for, um, yeah, just some craft, different crafting. But I was thinking using this to cut out ornaments and put them on um, labels for presents and stuff at Christmas time. So I grabbed that set, which we'll keep there. Um, I got in here, these are just little, little, um, donut charms. I like to use these as zipper pulls and I just thought these were totally adorable. So I'll probably bring some and share them with my crafty friends because I don't need this many, but they're just little, you can make necklaces, bracelets, keychains. I use them for zipper pulls a lot when I make my, um, look at the shadowing behind me. It's, it's a shadow kind of night. Um, I might use them for zipper pulls and things like that. Oh, I grabbed these. This is their paper sheets, right? They're tiny little paper sheets and you fold them into stars. It's like um, an origami and my friend Adrian made them for her son. These are vellum and glow in the dark. So I need to learn how to fold the stars and I wanna fill a glass jar with them and then they will, um, They'll glow in the dark at night. How fun is that? So I grabbed two sets and maybe Sarah and I will make a set for her friend's baby. We have a baby shower coming up and her baby will be born soon. And this is definitely enough here to fill an entire jar for the baby's bedroom. So that's probably what we'll do. And we'll make one full jar. Of just little origami stars. And they're, ooh, excuse me. And they're puffy stars. There's a way to fold it. Or maybe I'll just tell Adrian to fold them. My, my friend from work. She can fold them, right? That's what I say. Um, okay, so let's put this stuff. I'm putting it back in from where it came. Right? Because isn't that how we stay tidy? One would think. But. Alrighty. What do we got here? Um, oh, I have one more tool for pottery i think this came with something else but it's a pokey tool you use it for all kinds of cutting and marring of the clay so it'll just go in with our pottery stuff but these are great to have if you're going to do any kind of clay work but they're also good to use like for um actually i might leave this home and use it for or leave it out for my um resin I've been doing some resin art and maybe this is what I'll use that for. That pokey part is good for like directing the resin around and getting bubbles and stuff. And I have a couple of these already. So I think I'll use that for my resin. Perfection. Um, oh, and I got another die. This one, I have to take it out to show you. It's adorable. And we're gonna cut out um, the one thing with these dies, I mean, the more expensive ones are multi-part. You're going to get one cut out of him, but it's a cat with flowers. So I guess you could cut it out several times of different colored paper and then trim around it or just make one and then color it. So I grabbed that one, which is the cat. And then I got this set which is just a bunch of circles. So I would only be able to use the smaller circles, which is perfectly fine in this cutter, but they're just incrementally larger circles, which are always fun to have when crafting. And I love it that they're, you know, the right size and shape. Uh, the other thing I picked up, and this is for cross stitching, and I was sad they didn't, they were out of stock with the leaf that I wanted. Um, but these are, they're called needle minders. So I've talked about them before. There's a magnet on the back and I don't, I think I have to have my own, which I have plenty of magnets. I'm taking it out to see if I can, if it's just this one magnet. Nope, it's two. Okay, so it's just a thin little magnet. <laughs> You get two magnets on here, right? So I have one in my hand and one here. And you put your fabric in between. And so it stays on your fabric. And then I lay my needle on there and it holds my needle. And this is just a pair of scissors. 
So I have two of these and I will bring one to my retreat and share it with the people at my table. They had other designs, but like I said, when I went to order, they were out of stock, but there was a green leaf that I would love to have of that. So I will put that to the side because it's going to come with me when I go to my retreat. I think that's everything there. Yes. Now the last, oh, did I show you these scissors? Aren't they fantastic? I got the same brand in a smaller set of in a smaller scissor in the other order. These are considered bonsai scissors, like that's the style. But these things can cut, let me tell you. These are fantastic crafting scissors. I don't know if it'll work on fabric, I'll have to try. Um, but uh, these are gonna be craft scissors. I apparently have a thing for scissors. I'm not really sure. They're nice and sharp, you know, for like embroidery. I know you can use them for plants. But I love the big handle, right? You can just craft away. So if you see this brand, they are really good scissors and they're very reasonably priced. Um, these I think, they all, they came in different, but these are the dragon alloy scissors is what they're called. Oh, hi Wellington, did you come to join us? And then I got this other kit. Now, here's the one issue I have with Timu is that everything comes in a bag, so things get crushed. So, if you're wanting to gift any of this stuff, that's kind of a problem. Um, but anyway, this is a candle making kit. So, you get a bunch of wicks, right? You get the wick stickers that hold these to the bottom of your vessel of choice. Um, you get directions. And then I got a bunch of these little tea light containers in here if I want to make little tiny candles. I also got a few little tins. So if I want to put, um, make a little tiny tin. What I love with these containers when I do my crap, when I go on retreat and stuff, is that my needle minder and anything magnetic sticks to it. Um, but they have these if you want to make this size or this size. So it comes with a variety of tins. I don't know what else is in. A bunch of these little tea light things. Like there's a whole bunch in here. If you want to make tea lights. I mean, it comes with a whole bunch. You get wax melt. So this is, they're just little flakes of wax. I have essential oil so I can make them smell how I want. Oh, I got four, four of this tin, which is lovely. I thought it smelled, but it's not that. Um, yeah, so you get four of this tin or you can make a bunch of Tea lights. I don't know when this is melted down, how many of each I will be able to get, but I can let you know. And obviously you can buy wax anywhere. You can also buy like Dollar Tree um, candles and melt them down and then reuse them. I'm just moving this stuff out of the way so I can open this other package. I don't think I will waste wax on tea lights and materials. I mean, tea lights are so cheap. But I, like I said, I do have essential oil that I can put in here. You get this spoon, obviously. And then in here, oh, wait, wait, wait for it, wait for it. You get this, two of this tool. So what this does, you get two of them, right? Yeah. You put your wick through it and then it sits here and it holds your wick center on your vessel. And these are pretty heavy, which is lovely. So like, let's just say I want to put my wick in the center of that. I could go this direction. I'd probably go that way on this and then it just holds it. But if I have a bigger vessel, you know, it goes in there, but you'd feed your wick through here and it holds it in the center while you fill it. So you don't have to like finagle things. So that is very cool. And you get two in this kit. And then you get little tiny wicks for the tea lights. So 
also if I want to make little tiny candles. So it comes with a lot of supplies. Oh, it comes with some dye. So you get orange and red. And I wonder if you could use the wax, like crayon wax, I don't know, to color things, but you get two colors, so orange and red. And I'm assuming the directions will tell me how much to put in. And then you get scent. So lemon and vanilla scented oils. I don't know if this is, it says 100% plant essential oil. I have more, but this kit came with all that. Yeah, that smells not like vanilla. That does not smell anything like vanilla, if we're being truthful. But I have vanilla essential oil. And this does smell like lemon. Nice. And then this very heavy bottomed to melt your wax in on your stove. So you put it in the pellets in here. You have a spoon. Because once you've melted wax in something, you don't want to use anything else. So this is great just to make small candles. I would not, you know, you're not going to use this to make something big. But to make like gift candles. And then you have this spoon and you just stir it up. And when it all melts, you pour it in. That's a great kit. Now, you know, does it smell good? I don't know. Does this color it? We'll find out. We'll make candles at some point. Um, and then the last thing I got was to go with that. And it's just more of the same. It was just an, an extra kit because I wasn't sure what I was going to get. But you get more of these stickers. So what these stickers do is you attach your wick. To one of the stickers and you put it in the bottom of your vessel and then this goes through here and that sits on the top of your container and this holds it in the center so these are just popsicle sticks with the hole drilled in the center but they will work the same as those metal so i got a bunch of wicks a bunch of those centering things and then these to stick the um the wick to the bottom so it doesn't float up and that, my friends, is everything I got on this haul from Timu. And I'm kind of excited to try to make some candles. Well, I hope you enjoyed and that you're enjoying shopping at Timu as well. And I will talk with you later. Bye.